So Sean, congratulations on the new deal. How happy are you to get all signed up in time for the new season? Yeah, cheers. It's, uh, it's good to get it, get it sorted and um, yeah, get a full pre-season behind me now and I'm ready to kickstart the season now, yeah. Was it something that was always in the pipeline when you sort of first joined the club last season? Did you have that view of coming here permanently? Um, yeah, it was always always a possibility and uh, you know, um, it's, it's a massive football club and you know, I'm, I feel, uh, feel lucky to be here and yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward now to the, to the challenge of the season. So you ended up forming a really good partnership with Christian Burgess towards the end of the season. Obviously he's now left. Is it something that you're looking forward to, that challenge of forming a partnership with somebody new? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, we, we had a, a good partnership, me and Burge, and now, um, you know, there's, there's a couple of good, good centre-offs here and, uh, you know, I'm, hopefully I'm playing and, and then whoever, whoever else is playing, um, you know, we get a good partnership and I'm, I'm sure we will. You know, I know the boys here well now, obviously, being here last year, so I've no doubt that, that whoever plays are going to be a good partnership, yeah. You've been back in today for the first day of pre-season. How have you found it out there? It doesn't feel like too long since uh, previous season ended. Yeah, it's a bit different because usually when you come back here, you sort of feel like you've been off for a long time and you might be a little bit a little bit rusty, but yeah, it's only been a few weeks, so it just it doesn't feel too much different to when we were in before before the playoffs. So yeah, in that sense, it's, it's good that, you know, everyone, like I do, I think everyone does feel quite fit and, and ready to go. See, last season it did ultimately end in disappointment in the playoffs. How did you see those games against uh, Oxford? What were, what were your thoughts and, and your takeaways from them? Um, you know, I think we, we started the first game really well. Um, and then after probably the first half an hour, we sort of faded in that game. And, and then I think this, we sort of carried that over to the second game and it was a bit, a bit flat and we probably just didn't do enough. I still think um, we were probably the better side over the two games but um, at the same time we didn't really do enough to, to sort of win the, win the game or the tie overall so it was a bit disappointing in the end. So focusing on the positives it was a season where you really just improved and got better and better as the season went on is that something that you're looking to continue and if so how do you sort of measure your performances? Yeah you know um, I think I did get, get better as the season went on um, you know I've, uh, I had a couple of bad injuries this, this season previous and it maybe took me a little while to get going and um and then but I think before like the season got got cut off I was starting to play some some really good stuff and you know um now I feel this I, I feel so much better now than I did this time last year and um I feel like I can really kick on and keep improving every game it's looking like a proportion of the season is going to be played behind closed doors obviously you now have the experience of that from the playoffs what was it like and do you think you'll be able to manage it fairly well yeah you know obviously the the crowd at Fratton Park's obviously a big, um, it's a big uh, sort of influence on the games because they're so loud and, and passionate. Um, the best, in, the best, like the loudest fans, definitely in the league, I'd say. Um, so, but I think when, when you sort of get going in the games, um, me personally, I sort of don't really notice the crowd because um, you're just focused on on the objective of winning that game. So, um, although it, it would be nice to have the fans there supporting us. Um, you know, I don't think uh, we can you say that's going to affect us and in any way. I think we'll still still go in and uh, be be positive and looking to win every game, regardless. And you know, you did come close last season, especially after a less than ideal start. So, do you have confidence that you can get the job done next season and get this club into the championship? Yeah, I mean, surely uh, the start was wasn't good at all, was it? And. Um, I think uh, we must have been, from about October time, surely we must have been at least one of the best sides in the league, maybe maybe got the most points on that part, point in the league, um, I'm not sure, but um, if we can carry on that sort of form and improve little bits here and there that I think we do need to improve, then um, I'm really confident that we can, we can do well this year. Just finally for you personally, signing the permanent deal, does that mean now moving down to the south coast and if so is that something that you're looking forward to having been here for the previous year? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be trying to find a place now to live down here. Um, I know the area, uh, not really well, but I know it fairly well um, being down here last year so I've got a, a little idea of where, where I'd want to stay now and it's, you know, it's, not, it's nice living down here. I'm not, my, my sort of family home's not too far away as well so it's um, nice to be close to them and uh, yeah, so um, I'm looking forward to it. Brilliant. Well, it was great to have you with us for the next season, Sean, and we wish you all the best. Cheers. Thank you.